long to accomplish great and noble tasks, but it is my chief duty to accomplish small tasks as if they were great and noble. Emily with Emily Ballard Photography referenced this Helen Keller quote in her last post. She said, I think we all hope to accomplish things on a grand scale, yet often overlook how those little pieces to the big picture are just as important. She mentioned that all of these small tasks created something great and noble in a year of chaos. Hey there, I'm Devin Curlings with The Coley Group, and on today's episode of Discover the Triangle, we are meeting Emily with Emily Ballard Photography. I got the opportunity to meet Emily during her porch project that visited my neighborhood. As soon as I met her, I knew that there was something special about her. Emily is doing amazing things in our community, and today we are chatting with her about her small task that have turned into so much more. How did you get started in photography? Because it is a hobby for you, right? Yes, it's a um, hobby that I've been doing since a teenager. I um, Went to Belize the summer before my senior year of high school for about a month and um, my stepdad gave me at that point it was just like a basic Canon point and shoot um, and just kind of started with street photography people I met on my travels and journeys and then maybe seven eight years ago um, my best friend from college asked me if I would take pictures for her Christmas card and I was like I don't know I've never done that and she's like just do it they suck like we'll hire somebody else and um, she loved it and put it on a Christmas card mailed it out and it just kind of came word of mouth and, and grew that way that's so awesome yeah. so we had the pleasure of meeting through your porch project that visited my neighborhood so tell me a little bit about the porch project how it got started and how all of that kind of just kept moving along um, my mother actually found um, an article on a photographer in Boston who kind of coined the idea of porch portraits and porch project and um, Boston shut down several weeks before we did so she did this full time and had to cancel her whole spring session at that point and I think just kind of started walking around our neighborhood taking pictures of people hanging on their porch in their yard and I guess it clicked with her like you know I could make a little money doing it this way and she raised money um, for the Boston Food Bank and then it went viral. Photographers all over the country started doing this and raising money for different different avenues in their community. Um, my brother has always been in the restaurant industry um, his entire career and I just saw how you know we were able to help him but week after week I was hearing how other families and people in that industry did not have that same family support unit. Ashley Christensen started a restaurant workers relief fund and then joined forces with the North Carolina Restaurant and Lodging Association to open the fund up to anyone in North Carolina instead of just the triangle. Wanted to help people like my brother who didn't have that help from their family. Yeah, so I mean, from my understanding, you didn't think it was definitely gonna last as long as it's been going on. So how long has this been happening for you and how many porches have you visited? Um, I started, um, I think the first picture was the last week in March um, and thought that I would do it for a month. Yeah. Um, photography was not at that time a um, essential business, so I wasn't charging people. While I was charging $10 plus a donation, the $10 really just covered my gas all over North Carolina. Um, and then a donation had to be made at whatever they could afford to give, a dollar, five dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever. Um, and I was just gonna do it for April and it just kept snowballing. People wanted to know if I would come to North Raleigh and do a whole you know, neighborhood. Um, they wanted to gift it to friends, gift it to teachers, gift it to people in the restaurant industry. So once you kind of got started in the porch project, it started taking on like a whole nother meaning. Tell me about that. It did. Um, so in September, one of my best friends and our kind of crew's main boy was killed. Um, tragically, just a senseless act of violence. And um, at that point, we all just decided to live our life like Andy would. He was such a free spirit and, you know, didn't think about the future and just took it day by day and just lived life to the fullest. He lived more in his 39 years than I think some people live in 70 years. And um, so I wanted to offer people an opportunity to support us and grieve along with us. His family set up a memorial scholarship with the Wolfpack Club. They're, you know, 
generational Wolfpackers. Um, Andy went to NC State and loved Wolfpack sports. Um, so from September through the end of the year, people had the option of donating to the restaurant workers or Andy or both if they wanted. And we did various fundraising um, to raise money for his scholarship fund and recently found out that once a scholarship fund hits $50,000, it's then a named endowment, so now forever there will be an Andy Banks um, endowment at, with the Wolfpack Club. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's so awesome. So how many porches have you visited total then? Um, 665 from the end of March, and I ran the project through the end of 2020. That is crazy. It is. That's absolutely like amazing. <laughs> yeah. So when you're doing the porch project, you're asking people to make do donations. Where exactly are the donations going? Yes, so um, from March to September, I was strictly raising money for the North Carolina Restaurant Workers Relief Fund. Um, and then from September to December, um, people had the option to donate to the Restaurant Workers Relief Fund or the Andy Banks Memorial Scholarship. So overall in this whole experience, how much money have you raised total? Um, about $62,000. That's amazing. Yeah. So the NCRLA sponsored you recently in, what was it, a rising star? Um, yes, yeah, so they have um, a yearly kind of stars of the industry. Mm -hmm. People were nominating me for um, one of their awards, which is kind of like a community leader. Um, but I'm not in the restaurant industry, I'm not in the hospitality industry, um, so the board had to essentially vote to let me be allowed in and um, not wanting to take away from people that are actually in the industry who have been receiving these awards for years. Um, they created one, the Charitable Champion. Um, mm -hmm. So I was gifted that last night. That's so awesome. Yeah. And you've been doing a couple of other little projects as well too. Didn't you have some t-shirts? Yeah, so for um, Andy's uh, fundraiser, our friends just wanted to raise as much money as we could for his scholarship fund. Um, so we had a graphic designer friend in Charleston who created a logo and we used Bonfire to print those. Um, they just made it easy. You could go online, order, they would handle the payment, the shipping, everything. Um, Andy was a huge fan of the Wolfpack Club um, and we worked closely with the Wolfpack Club and NC State to make sure that we weren't breaking any trademark rules. Um, and so they allowed us to use the Wolfpack hands, which is on the front of the t-shirts and um, kind of a geometric symbol to represent Red Hot Chili Peppers, which was his favorite band. Well, that's amazing that you've been able yeah. to do all of that. And Absolutely. once again, like I appreciate you so much taking the time out of your sure. day because you're clearly a very busy and sought after lady these days. Yes. But thank you again for Absolutely. everything. Absolutely, thank you for having me. We have some amazing people doing amazing work here in Raleigh. Raleigh is such a beautiful city and we are doing anything and everything we can to thrive and miss the chaos. If you're thinking about making a move to Raleigh, make the Coley Group your first phone call. You can reach me, Devin Curlings at 919 five two six zero four zero one.